another video. Um, in today's video, we're going to be installing um, a flow indicator um, and some temperature gauges. Uh, this one will be measuring the temperature of the water going into the tube. This one will be measuring the temperature of the water coming out of the tube. Um, gives you a better idea of how hot your tube is. Um, going to be, uh, here's some custom 3D things I printed for it, make it easier to install. Um, these little towers are um, designed so that the, the tube, when it's coming out of the machine, doesn't rub against cut metal. Um, and also helps keep the, uh, you'll see there's a little bed in there. Make sure it stops it from, from wanting to kink. Um, and uh, that's it. We'll uh, get going and cut the, cut the laser tube cover for it. Um, the only other thing that's really interesting is uh, this display. Um, this one was custom, of course. Uh, let me show you the display on this one. Um, Um, this one's got a nice looking display. Um, I ordered it specifically for the, for the display. Um, the one that comes default with the flow indicator um, is very similar to the um, battery operated ones that you get um, default with the K40. You can see, it looks uh, kind of plain. Um, so I ordered the uh, same thing as this one. Uh, ordered this one. So I'm going to um, take this apart and um, uh, desolder the temperature gauges on it and attach this temperature gauge to it. So we'll end up with the same display for water in and water out. Um, that's it. Here, I'll show you. This one I haven't cut off the USB adapter for it. So um, anyway, it's just, I just think it'll look, it's a better looking display. And you can see it better from an angle uh, when it's on the case. Um, these ones, you know, they're, man, this one's not bad. But the ones that come with the case are, are horrible. So um, I'm going to do that now and then uh, put it all together, uh, create a, um, a drilling template, um, and then we'll just uh, we just step down to drill the, uh, the holes we need, and uh, we'll get it installed. Um, we'll leave this run. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how long this is going to take. I don't know. Um, I haven't taken it apart yet. Um, but I'll speed up what I'm going to do next. Uh, I'm just basically going to desolder this um, and this and uh, get it ready. Um, I'll be back when I'm done.
relatively painless. Um, all right, let's get it all put together. All right, this one's ready to go. Um, now we just put it together. Uh, screw this one in afterwards. Um, these little cases, these are designed. Um, it just makes it easier to mount. Uh, you can see this sort of this is off centered. That uh, snaps into place, and you see it'll it'll hold it and no, never go anywhere. Um, drill a hole, put a thumb screw on it, tighten it up. Same with these. Put your hoses through here. They won't chafe on the edge of the, the cut. Um, make it look a little better. And then again, just uh, screw it on. Makes it easy. Uh, no gluing, no nothing. Uh, easy to come off later um, if we need to do anything with it. Um, so we'll put it together and um, get the measurements we need for the cut. Be right back when I'm done with that. you back um, after I get the, uh, the holes made. All right, we're back. Um, the holes are drilled. Um, just put these on now. Show you what it looks like.
and then basically we'll just go like that there we go and opening it up is not going to make it fall off um, I'm going to go uh, cut the tubes and install everything um, put the um, exit water temperature gauge um, on and then connect it to the 5 volt um, power things. Uh, the only thing you need to remember is um, when you're measuring how to, where to cut this tube, don't forget, have your lid open when you're measuring. Um, give it a little bit of extra space. Uh, you don't want to get stuck. I've, I've seen people on other videos do it. Um, they cut their tubes um, too short. They weren't able to open the lid. So just a, a quick thing on there. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll bring you back uh, as soon as I get it all wired up and show you what it looks like. And um, yeah, and then I'm going to run it for uh, um, 24 hours with the water pump plugged into uh, the power supply. Um, the laser I won't have plugged in at all, uh, just in case there's a leak, and make sure everything's working fine. Anyway, I'll be right back, right back when I'm done. All right, we're back. Uh, it's all installed. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, there's the temperature gauges. There we go. Uh, the top one is the water going into the tube. Bottom one's water going out of the tube. Um, there's the flow indicator. It's been in like crazy. And take you around the back. Show you what it looks like. There's the uh, sensor for coming out of the out of the tube. And there's where I cut it. There's the bottoms. A super simple install. Um, anyway, that's it. Now we uh, now we can make sure that the water flow is proper, and the temperature gauge is no longer taped to the outside of a tube. It's actually measuring the temperature of the actual water, not just the. Not just the tube. So, anyway. Uh, that's it for now. Um, next one, we're probably putting in the laser uh, pointer and the air assist. Um, I've got it hooked up. Uh, you can see the air assist is on. I just haven't uh, brought it into the machine yet. Um, and that one controls the exhaust. Anyway, quick update. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right, take care.